I'll tell you that we've been running 30-minute uh, races up to now, and the next two races will be 20-minute races. Because we have a kind of a curfew uh, for Shenley Park, a promise to return the park to the city at s some particular time, and we want to make sure that we don't go past uh, that time limit because uh, there's a lot of cleanup that needs to be done, moving barriers and so on uh, after we're finished. So the next two races will be 20 minutes. I think that's pretty, pretty fine to do a 20 minute race. On the poll for the next race, which is uh, production cars under two liters, is jo uh, Stefan Vapa. We saw George Vapa in the last race uh, in a uh, Lotus 7, but Stefan Vapa is on the poll here in his Saab Sonnet Roadster. And uh, if you've been here before, chances are you've seen Stefan Vapa uh, win the races in this car, yellow car number 97. Starting second, a beautiful little Lotus Elan, yellow and silver, Darren Mann of Pittsburgh, car 118. Starting third, Brian Dolan from Pittsburgh. Car 15 is the uh, Triumph GT6, one of several the Dolans own. Starting fourth is car 167, Mike Moore from Fairview, Pennsylvania, the Triumph TR4. Starting fifth, car 555, that's uh, the of our BMW 2002s, Jack Ingold from Louisville, North Carolina. Starting sixth, car four, that's Charlie Dolan from Pittsburgh, and a former Group 44 Triumph GT6. Starting seventh, car 22, Joe Mendel from Pittsburgh in a Lotus Elan. Starting eighth, car 69, Robert Verena Jr. in the BMW 2002, Bob's from Zelianople. Starting ninth, car 32, Gus Vasilakis from Coriopolis in a Porsche 914, a four-cylinder. Starting tenth, car 28, Jeff Harold from Beaver, Pennsylvania in a 1962 MGB, uh, which looks just like the Zappa cars. I think it was, probably was a Zappa prepared car. Sticker on the side of it. The uh, black with gold stripe. Yep. Uh, starting 11th is car 48, Coben Sunderman uh, from Turtle Creek in an MGB. Starting 12th is car 14, Andrew Granis from Cleveland in a BMW 320. Starting 13th, car 16, Gary Reed from Clareton in a Datsun 510. Uh, starting 14th, car 57, Lee Poseidon uh, from Cleveland in a 1966 Alpha GTV. And starting 15th, car number 20, Colby Schindel from, well, he was a Pittsburgher. Now he calls Port St. Lucie, Florida, his home. Uh, and that's a 1975 BMW 2002. That's the top 15 of a field of some perhaps 34 cars for this 20-minute race for production cars under two liters. Pretty remarkable that Stefan Bopp is sob in front of that Lotus. <laughs> but he's, he knows his way around this track. He had a little problem in the qualifying session earlier when the back panel got yep. loose and was bouncing along behind the car. And he says, they, uh, there's some little pins that mount that, and I see they're secured with the Gorilla Tape now. <laughs> He's a great guy. He and his dad both are, are just big, big, big supporters of this event, and uh, always a thrill to watch him. So I, I know as when that car came by with the panel flopping off the back, you looked in there, and there's not much back there. <laughs> it's a front-wheel drive car, and there really isn't much back there except for an axle. An axle and the brakes. Yeah, that's about it. That's it. But it's a very, it must be a very light car. Yes, I'm sure it is. I mean, to turn 218 in the Saab Sonnet, quite remarkable. And and, uh, and I can't remember, but I'm going to guess that's one of the V4, not the... Uh, I would presume so. I think so. You could get, there were two different versions of the, of early uh, Saab motors. Uh, there was, the, of course, there. You know better than I. <laughs> yeah. Two liter Saabs, uh, they, they could be pretty quick, too. They can be, yes.
wind doesn't uh, indicate that. Uh, I haven't even looked at the weather. <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> it was sitting here. <laughs> it's been sitting there long enough. I said, "Are you what?" Base cars in, here comes the field looking for a start. Stefan Papa in the yellow Saab Sonnet Roadster on the inside. So Stefan Vapa just held the lead through the first turn. He had the inside. So uh, for the start, I think you want to be the inside a line, but he, he managed to get get ahead enough to be able to get the right line. To turn oh, did he uh, lean and, over uh, there and, uh, a little bit? Yeah, he got. He seemed to get far left enough to make the, the right line through yeah. there, which amazes me because that Lotus looks like all the world, like a 26R with probably all the all the goodies Ooh. that you know it wow. probably has under the hood. But uh, so the 26R was the racing version yeah, of the Elan, is yeah, that right? Yeah. Looks like it has a lot of the stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a relatively short space to accelerate from this starting line to that yeah, that turn. So uh, if you can, if if your car will squirt ahead enough, then you can choose your line. And yeah, if it doesn't accelerate very well, you're at the mercy of the people around you. You're trapped on the inside. Yeah. And and you set yourself up for being passed going up uh, Panther Hollow Road. But obviously, Stefan. Uh, pulled it off there. I noticed my good friend Craig Schaefer started last. They were having ignition problems with, with uh, this MGA. And uh, we put a new distributor in it. And I'm hoping to see him move his way up in the field. Well, I was saying uh, something to someone the other day saying, oh, yeah, Craig Schaefer, he's a pretty fast driver. And uh, the response was, he can be pretty aggressive. Yes, uh, yeah, Craig uh, spent a lot of years in the Trans Am series where it was very uncommon to find the, the opposition's door panel in your passenger compartment at the end of the race. <laughs> I've been there, I've seen it. <laughs> I crewed on that car for a long time. Stefan Vapa is out front. <laughs> dead last almost a couple oh. behind him i think he made a couple but he went into turn one i noticed the ignition sounds great but there's a little bit of smoke coming from the left rear of the car So Stefan Vapo, front Darren Mann, who started second, is in second in car 118, the Lotus Elan. And Brian Dolan in car 15 uh, is uh, the Triumph GT6 is running third. Then a couple of cars back is another one of the Dolan uh, GT6s. That's uh, Charlie Dolan in car number four running sixth. 
But in between Mike Moore, car 167, is the uh, TR4, which was very quick last weekend at Pitt Race. And then car 055, that's uh, Jack Ingold in the BMW 2002. So that's uh, your top five. Well, actually, counting Charlie Dolan uh, in sixth place, your top six. Volvo P1800 racing car number 68. That's Kevin McMichael from Pennsylvania Furnace. You don't see too many racing uh, P1800 Volvos, but looks really good. And that's Cliff McCandless right behind him uh, from uh, Pittsburgh, actually Grove City, in car 53, a silver Devon Corvair a car that uh, Cliff built in uh, brand new uh, in 1959. In fact, he knew Bill Devon. At one point when he did uh, hill climbing, 
he cracked a nose. He called up Bill Devon and said, could you make me a new nose? And he did. He said, when I get back to California, I have the molds. I'll make you a new nose for your car. New leader is Darren Mann. Somehow he got ahead of Stefan Bapa. So the Lotus Elan is out front now. And that Saab Sada, which was, as far as I know, never built as a uh, roadster. I don't believe the Saab Sada was ever built as a roadster. I think this was somewhat modified. Last lap, Brian Dolan was faster than the than the two cars ahead of him. Brian Dolan is running third in car number 15. That's the blue Triumph GT6. So we are past halfway in this 20 minute race. 10, uh, 10 minutes in, about 10 to go. And yeah, a bit of smoke coming out the back of uh, the car that just went by and I didn't catch what car that was. Might have been an Austin Helium shoe. Do we have Healy's in this group? We shouldn't. Kevin Sunderman has pulled his MGB off at station number four. That's car number 48.
191 pulls into the pit. That's Craig Schaefer in the MGA. Craig out of Somerset, Pennsylvania. We were watching the car, smoking a bit, and he has pulled up into the paddock. Joe Mendel made a brief stop uh, at the Black Flag Station. Car 22, the Lotus Salan of Joe Mendel from Pittsburgh. Drivers are told if you hit a hay bale or something, please stop. Please stop uh, briefly in the paddock so we can check your car. Car 69 is the gold-painted uh, BMW 2002 TII of Bob Verena from Zealion Opal. Car 57, the red Alpha GTV, that's Lee Poseidon out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio, car 57. There's the one lap to go sign and uh, it comes out just as Stefan Papa gets passed by yet another car. I think Brian Dolan just got back Stefan Papa on this, the last lap. So first turn of the last lap and Stefan gets bumped back to, th well he didn't get bumped but he's back in third now. 
Nice race by Brian Dolan. He started uh, third. He's been battling the whole way through. And a brother right here, that's uh, Charlie Dolan. And the GT6, car number four. Not by us. We weren't. Oh, we weren't anticipating that uh, Brian Dolan was going to be a winner, and he came through on the last lap in first place, and just pipped Stefan Beppa. Beppa. And what happened to Darren Mann? So on the very last lap, apparently, Darren Mann pulled off. We're not exactly sure. I'm not sure where he is, but he apparently pulled off safely. And it meant that on the last lap, big things happened to, <laughs> to the top of this field.
up and they were, they were going, they were going for We're still awaiting our winner. I don't think he knew that he won, and then he didn't know <laughs> that he was supposed to come in uh, on his cool-off lap, so uh, he's still out there, and that's uh, Brian Dolan of Pittsburgh driving uh, a car that sometimes races as number five. It's 15 today, but it's one of the, of the Dolan's collection of Triumph GT6's race cars. Car number four, car number five, and car number six. This is car number five or 15 this weekend. Now he'll stop with us, join us. Mike Moore, could you pick a, a warmer afternoon to do some racing? Not at all. <laughs> it was hot. It was, oh. This is your second weekend in Pittsburgh, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You had a long weekend last weekend at Pitt Race. And car ran well, so I'm here. Yep. It did run well. Yeah. And I'm glad to, that you finally that you made it onto the podium here at uh, Shenley Park. Nine years. <laughs> Nine years of racing here. This is my ninth year, so. Finally got it. And this is our 40th year, and I'm really happy to have you on the, on the podium uh, for this, our 40th year. And it's great to have drivers like you come back year after year. Yeah, we love it. We love it. My great. family loves it. Everybody loves it. You look pretty warm. I'll let you get into the shade or have a drink or something yeah. or other. But congratulations for a very fine second. Thank you. Thank you. Third, I should say third. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a podium. It's a podium. Discussing race uh, strategy here. I almost hit Darren. No he, I almost hit Darren because they're out at the just before the monument. I go around him on the left, and he goes to pull off because he's broken. I'm like, oh man. Stefan, since I started with Mike Moore, I'll talk to you. Talk to you next. We get such a kick out of watching you in this car, especially in this turn. You should get some film or a videotape or something of what you look like going around this corner. I've never seen it from this perspective. I've only ever seen it from in the car, and from in there, it looks completely fine. You look like you're just tilting way over. The car is kind of rises on the inside and dips on the outside, but it's so quick. Yeah, it... It, it was a really good car today, right up until about three or four laps from the end. I started to lose the brakes. And um, it, I was managing it, pumping it, and they would come back, and then I came down here to the final corner, and they just went completely gone. And I tried the handbrake, and that didn't do anything at all, so I just waggled the wheel to try to get it to go sideways and try to stay out of Mr. Dolan's way here. And um, it slowed down enough that I was able to get around the corner, and then I thought about coming in, and I thought, Look, if I just kind of go real slow, maybe I could survive and get a podium, because in a car without engine braking, it has a freewheeling transmission, no brakes is a terrifying prospect. I didn't really, I knew that uh, many of the early sobs were we're free uh, freewheeling but the idea of, of uh, driving a freewheeling race car that uh, takes a, a special uh, application of something or other yeah I, I grew up driving this car it was the car that I started autocrossing when I first started racing and I've been driving it here for a long time it is just like an old shoe I, I love it it does everything I ask it to do except apparently today slow down well it likes this track obviously and I guess you do too I absolutely love this track. This is, I keep telling people, and they say I'm all nuts, it is my absolute favorite track in the world. It has a fabulous rhythm, better than a lot of dedicated race tracks I've driven on. And, and yeah, the car loves it too, because I kind of built it for this event. Stefan Vapa, a many-time race winner here, still on the podium in uh, our 40th year. Congratulations, Stefan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brian, I, uh, 
we, you, su you, <laughs> you surprised us, I must say. All of a sudden, you were in second. All of a sudden, you were the first to take the checker. Well, Darren got scared, I think, a little bit. No, his car broke, and he was kind enough to pull off without incident. And there was a lot of good racing. These guys, we, we caught a bunch of cars at tricky spots, and we all waited. So it was very nice of them to race safely and cleanly. And uh, luckily, let me get by them somehow. <laughs> Corner marshals are out there. They're uh, trying to let you know what's up ahead and uh, hoping to maybe you'll get some blue flags that'll help you get through the pack. Does that ever work? It, it does, but it, it's more that the uh, the guys in front of us are smart. They're watching their mirrors, and we were smart and not crowding them. And it's, it's a it's a fun race. There's no, I mean, it's an expensive flag. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, that's not all. You get some Helltown to take home with you. Congratulations. You that's that Brian right guys. Brian Dolan. Your race winner, Thank you. and that Pittsburgh-based GT6. So that's your podium, and right across the way is uh, the grid for the upcoming race. It's the under one and a half liter race, and it ha so happens that that red MGA over there is driven by Charlie Dolan, another member of the Dolan clan. So the Dolans are well represented here uh, this weekend. The only one missing is Dad, Jim, who's doing well. He had a medical issue recently that had us worried uh, a bit, but we understand he's fine. and. I don't know whether you heard during the opening ceremonies, uh, we read a little statement that he wanted us to read saying, uh, you know, hats off to the volunteers and the corner workers. I wish I could be there. I'll be there next year. So it'll be great to have Jim back. But uh, the Dolan uh, boys uh, are um, uh, represent the family well here at, uh, at Shenley Park.